Hey Scorpios, what's up? Jackie here, she, hers. For those of you that are new, hit subscribe below. Scorpios, this is your sex and relational energy read. So out of the realest fuck relationships deck, we've got not true love, dating friends, fam relationships. And we also have out of the sex messages deck here, consent is sexy. You can play around with what you want to say and how you want to say it, be creative. So maybe there's some different types of messages coming in, creative sex, sexuality. Might be important for you to explore this during this time and they're giving me the word initiation. So really third solar plexus chakra energy could be very activated for you with sexual self-esteem and self-care overall. Um, Scorpio, I also like had like a ugh moment before I hopped on this reading here. Um, I don't know if you're frustrated with somebody or if they are breaking your consent or they're communicating to you in a way that just feels very irritating or agitating, be it about sex or just someone that you have a relationship or a friendship with overall. Um, so it's just like a ugh kind of energy and I don't really like <laughs> have that. And my shoulders felt very tight and like there was a weight, like something waiting down on my like shoulder so I don't know if you're experiencing a lot of anxiety at all in relationships or sex or whatever some frustrations could be coming up for you um, out of the real or nice out of the sexual self-care Oracle card deck my deck we also have personal lube is coming out here so I love this because of course you are a water sign you might also be playing around with this a little bit more I am recording this around Valentine's Day ish time but this says the water the better there are so many kinds of lubes consider the five piece this is what I always say purpose places pleasure play price as well as what is the lube made of water-based lube is the safest oil based you can't compare you can't pair with a condom it'll melt and silicone based can also melt sex toys so do your research on the types of properties um, lubes have as well lube can enhance overall pleasure and chances of having an orgasm when in doubt lube it out so we have 79 which also breaks down to a 16 which breaks down to a 7 so I don't know if there's a lot of crown chakra activations happening here when it comes to what you're thinking about with sex, sexuality, pleasure, personal lube, and maybe even partnerships or relationships or hookups, friends of benefits, fuck buddies, whatever. But I love that this is coming out for you, Scorpio, because you are a water sign and this is just a beautiful um, sexual self-care type of way to explore that element a little bit more. Of course, there's like the mindful shower, a bath, or, you know, hydrating with water and all those different things, whatever. But I really like this one in particular because this is just such a beautiful energy. Um, so, out of the sex magic tarot we have six of swords in the upright here so i feel like you are going to be moving on or you, some of you have moved on or away from a relationship or partnership or friend and that's where i got like the uh, come out and the swords represent truths messages communication air sign energy you know the mind and intellect and sixes represent harmony healing um just really having this kind of ease and i think a lot of you are really needing to trust your intuition to move away or forward with or without partner partner spouses spouse in regards of you know do i want to be with them do i want to incorporate some things and talk about consent and how it's changed do i want to create better sexual intimacy with myself and partner partner spouse whatever and pleasure I'm calling that in some of you do need to move on and away from this person because it's not true love overall so I just really got that sense of like that frustration a little bit for some of you really holding it in your shoulders and ugh, I don't know if you um, have received like you know a frustrating um, I'm talking about communication a lot so I don't know if you have received like an annoying or frustrating like text message or DM or phone call or voicemail or email or whatever or just a frustrating annoying conversation where it's like ugh, really like we have to talk about this and maybe some of you feel like you already know what my consensual boundaries are why are we redoing this again and maybe this is something where you need certain things out in writing or a clear plan just with the air sign energy coming out when it comes to this out of the spirit says messages here we also have pay attention to the master numbers around you you could be be seeing all these numbers at different times they're truly coming in pay attention to that especially if you are seeing 11s that is an instant manifestation number um and 22 that is a um a date if you are born on the 22nd or maybe even the 11th but like specifically for the 22nd really in numerology that <laughs> number talks about 
people literally have such an abundant life. They have so much balance, pleasure, um, really creative energies and motivation in regards to that divine feminine energy and really attracting beautiful things. Um, people that have been born on the 22nd, I've looked it up because I'm born on the 22nd. Um, <laughs> and that's something where um, you might be wondering maybe a little bit too about numerology reports in your birth chart or your birth date or whatever, but really those born on the 22nd have really talked about this is fucking hard. Like I don't feel like I get as much as I, I deserve or I desire or I require. So I don't know why that's coming out. That could be coming in for choices. Um, maybe some decisions that you are making with that twos representative of that. Um, so just pay attention. Maybe you have some of those significant double numbers. Maybe you're born on the 11th or the 22nd or it's in your birth chart in a significant placement, Scorpio. Okay. So tell me as always, just to take what resonates with you and tell me as always what you got going on in the comments below, because I love hearing from you Scorpio so thank you thank you thank you for being here most important messages so we have triangulation that wants to show itself someone's going to try to put you in the middle of a relationship a friendship um this could also be a third party situation that goes wrong with sex or intimacy or pleasure um and sexual intimacy physical intimacy there's so many different types those two are different those are sy not synonymous here and we also have relationship cleanse negative energy vampire so I didn't say this with that oh I wish I did that's fine. Um, but I really had to cleanse my energy with Palo Santo before I got on this card read because I was like, whoa, this is not my energy that I just felt this jolt of <sighs> frustration for y'all. So this says negative energy vampires and narcissists get out now. Um, triangulation put in the middle. This is not healthy. And we have watching you. Someone is watching your every move, paying attention to what you're doing. Scorpio, what's going on here? Bottom of the deck here. Mm -hmm, more than two. So I think I said third party situation that could have gone wrong or whatever, but opening up a relationship and expanding. Um, but make sure that you are cleansing your energy during this time. You can burn sage, palo santo, use different types of, um, you know, essential oils and kinds of sprays and stuff that you'd like to be able to do that have that protective measure as well. Protect your energy, use your energy shields, you know, psychic attacks, protections in your dreams, the dream realm, whatever this might be. If you're sexually astral traveling too, I don't know what you got going on. Um, and like, this is very heavy Scorpio. So I don't know what is going on here, but tell me about triangulation full card. So Aquarius or Aquarius season. Wow. Moon card Pisces and Knight of Wands in the reverse here. This could be an Aquarius Pisces cusp. They could also have these signs in their charts. You could have these signs in your charts, but clearly significantly you have, and the moon is also represented by Cancer. And I always say this one Scorpio too. So this could also be, you know, Aquarius, Scorpio, Cancer and Pisces, just with this card in particular, because it has like the nice little lobster. I know it just gives me the Scorpio vibe and energy every single time. So you could have these in your chart. They could have this in their chart. Someone's trying to gaslight you and manipulate you with that fire sign energy and like really acting very, very young and immature for their age. So for example, they may be, you know, 44 or 35, or you might be those ages, whatever, right? And they're acting like they're 15 or 13 or 11 or whatever. And it's like, what the fuck is happening? This person is very much so acting not emotionally mature for their age. And you're like, do better. Like, I'm going to walk the fuck away. Um, this could happen during Aquarius season or Pisces season two. And again, you could be dealing, you deal with multiple energies with this. Spirit's clearly, obviously saying this is not good. Yeah, eight of cups, you walk away from this. In the traditional tarot, this is something where you're gone. And this literally is looking like the third party situation because you have so many energies that are coming out in the sign overall. Top of the deck, we have queen of cups energy. Yeah, I feel like this person lied on you, lied to you to get you to have sex with them. They really honed in on your emotions here. And I think they really manipulated you in regards to some situation. They manipulated manipulated you in regards to some situation. They lied to you. This person is disappointed. Seven of swords, you know, in the regular tarot is like, oh, I've got these swords and I'm moving on. Or some people look like stealing. And a lot of times it's like dare to steal your boyfriend energy when I get this kind of spread and breed. So I don't know if someone's trying to come in between you, a relationship, dating, maybe someone's dating multiple people at the same time. 
just take what resonates with you. You could be divorced and people are talking shit about this in the process of it. Yeah, 10 of wands, you're burnt out of this situation here. This could also be, you know, some sort of, I've been working so hard at this and I need to leave, but this cycle isn't closing, but you need to close it. Yeah, you don't feel grounded, balanced in this relationship, sexually, physically, emo emotionally. Um, this person is not also well balanced that you're working with too. It could be a Libra here. Justice card in the reverse. I feel like this could also just be a divorce and done situation with like a court case or just karmic justice here. Wow. So then you also have Libra Leo here. You could have a cusper here, but you really had to be very courageous with this person. Maybe you had to speak up a little bit. Maybe you're dealing with those signs as well. And there is going to be a message. Speak the fuck up here from your heart. Okay. Coming through. Um, <laughs> tell me about relationship plans. What's going on? Four of pentacles in the upright. Wow. So someone that you may be married to or courted to. Page of pentacles in the upright. You have a child with. Ten of wands in the upright and Leo energy. Like they're burning you out. This person is an energy vampire because they're trying to like say, stay with me. We're married. We have a child here. Um, and they might just be burning you out like sexually. Maybe they're not having sex with you. Maybe you're not having sex with them. Maybe it's like, hey, unless you get your act together and maybe you're working on your mental health and or depression and not being so projection-y, blamey, shamey, gossipy, manipulative. Someone here I feel like is really truly getting, um, could be experiencing a lot of different types of abuse, physical abuse, sexual abuse, emotional abuse, um, intellectual abuse. There's so many different kinds out there, right? So just as always take what resonates with you, but spirit's saying like, this is not making you happy. You need to leave this situation here to a wants when you do. Yeah. Trust your cat. Literally beautiful at the bottom of the deck, overall energy in a row, future overall energy. You have the two of wands, a better partnership, a cancer. You're moving forward. This is a chariot. You have cancer in your chart. This could be cancer season, but really this is successful. So two, um, seven, two could be an important angel number. That's a mirror number for you to look up Two seven two. So go look that up. See if that resonates with you. And if there's any messages in regards of love, sex relationships out there, when you look up those numbers, but I told you about like the crown chakra, the sevens, right? And then the 22 here, that's like very significant for some reasons. Like, I feel like you're just stepping into trusting your intuition going, and this is successful here and calling in more pleasure into your relationship here. Um, really make sure that you are making the best decisions right now with relationships that you are creating or soul ties or connections. You could also be moving for someone. This could also just be a brand new relationship, maybe with a, a dom, a sub or a switch, but you know, deep down inside, this is what's meant to be this on the table is not what's meant to be. So spirits like close it out. We got better for you here and trust in the divine overall. Seven of pentacles in the reverse. Yeah. This person is not sexually, spiritually aligned with you. King of swords and queen of cups here. Like they may be showing up and saying one thing, but they aren't actually maybe giving you what you need here. It's like all talk, but no action. Like they're just sitting on the throne here. King of swords in the upright. Like they're being very strategic. How can I keep this person around? And seven of pentacles in the reverse is like, it's not happening for me. And queen of cups, like you're moving on, stepping into that power of fucking energy. It's like, he's just too little too late. Like that Jojo song. Yeah. Three of pentacles. You're moving forward with maybe multiple opportunities. This could also be group sex, dom, sub, switch here as well. Three different roles that you could be exploring a little bit more, but really let go of this person. This depression is not for you to hold. This victim mindset is not for you to hold. Yeah. King of wands in the reverse fire sign energy, Sagittarius, Leo, or, um, Aries here. It's not something that you need to hang on to Spirit's saying you're protected by having these conversations with people moving forward saying like, Hey, I can be here for you. And I can't be the only person who is holding space for depression or whatever. This might be eight of wands in the reverse. This has been a pattern of that person's flipped energies in reverse. Also Scorpio, this could be you. And maybe this could be something that people are giving you feedback on. Like, Hey, maybe you need to be able to seek help for this a little bit more. Tell me about watching you. <laughs> Uh, pay attention to inboxes technology right now during this time like turn off location on your phone if you need to especially if you get like those creepers that like don't put a photo on something or like don't show their face on something <sighs> you have an ex that's watching you 
could be a potential earth sign, knight of pentacles in reverse. So we have our upright Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, three of swords. You might have caught this person in a third party situation or cheating in the past or maybe dating you and dating another person. Spirit's saying like you're safe to move on and leave this person. They're going to try to come back and steal you back over when you back over and bring this message in. Yep, there's going to be a message, heavy Taurus energy. This could also be like you got divorced and then you got married and you got divorced and maybe this person's like coming back to try to like have another type of contract with you or someone um, is watching you. To like maybe they're going to propose to you as well and they might ask you or pop this question. Maybe they're re-proposing to you. Maybe this is something where they are proposing a new idea with some sort of legal matters, be it taxes, whatever. I don't know. Um, and you're also safe to move away from this person if you want to, if you don't want this. Cherry in the reverse, and we have the moon card, double cancer energy. So them moving towards you is not going to be successful. I feel like you see through their bullshit. I feel like you just see through what they're trying to do. They're trying to be very gamey and manipulative, and subconsciously you're like, no, I'm going to trust my intuition here. I see them for what they are. Two of swords you're gonna block this person i feel like this is gonna be like a fake account fake profile someone that just wants to cause chaos here overall and um really kind of fuck with like you your energy you know your sex life whatever uh watch out for um just social media at this time wow so we have four of wands that came out sideways here and i'm shuffling it like this on my table but that came out sideways i feel like someone's trying to like screw up your marriage or your solid really long-term um relationship here mm -hmm. overall yeah this is i mean overall energy king of cups trust yourself intuition your divine masculine energy is saying yeah take action here move forward you know what you want what you don't want six of wands overall some of you are going to be opening up your relationship to three people though, but you have your BS detector, honest answers. You keep trying and they keep lying. So there could be some things, some truths that come to light with this and speaking before thinking quick tempered warning, choose your words wisely Scorpio. Okay. You also have choose to see the red flags. This is not good for you. This is literally spirit saying like, Hey Scorpio, we hate to say that you've had a shit ton of stuff going on and like you get to learn the lessons about like how you can cut people off here. Celibacy, choice, ch you do you. Like some of you are choosing to be celibate right now and maybe that's just for own personal reasons. Surprise, a gesture is coming to you. That's exciting Scorpio here. Let me know what you got going on in the comments below and some people are only in it for the physical, the tangible, the time, the sex, the money, the energy. So whatever that alludes to for you, um, Spirit's just confirming it here. So sexual self-care. Um, so most important messages for the Scorpio Collective. What do they need to focus in on during this time? Thank you. One. So we have practice. Work on anxieties, worries, self-soothing. Um, turning yourself on. Having a mirror talk with sex. We also have sex definition. I was literally talking about this, I think, to Sagittarius and... Uh, cancer libra so maybe you have those in your charts um but really rethinking and rewriting what sex means to you sex acts attractors genderness genderness nice attraction gender all the different things that like really might tie into sexuality overall and who you're attracted to um scorpios uh if you want me to look at one question in your birth chart fill out my survey below and then send me what question you want me to answer maybe looking at your birth chart could help gain some clarity at this time when it comes to this i'm just doing a survey in regards to sexuality and gender because there's not a ton of information out there there's some books but Ah, and they're not really specific to what I'm looking for. So look at that um, in the description below. But then we have vulva and it's coming out in the reverse. I feel like some of you might be holding back sexually. Maybe a partner is sexually. Eights represent patterns and karma here. And maybe you're holding back because maybe there's that sex um, or ex coming back and they want to have sex with you. Thank you, Spirit. Confirmation. You could also just be learning about sex education or you've been really stuck on this for some time because this card in the upright says using proper terms, Janet genitals and engaging in practicing sex positive language and learning so some of you have been thinking about learning about this more some of you have been holding back on this some of you are like wow no i i really did not get a sex education growing up or whatever and maybe i do need to learn a little bit more of that and explore a little bit more of that at the bottom of the deck we have affirmations in the reverse some of you really need to be working on your self-esteem during this time then we have the sacral chakra with the, the second one 22 um be careful of overthinking and like shaming yourself shaming your body your sexuality your gender 
make sure that you're affirming yourself. Then we also have burnout. Some of you are so sexually burnt out that maybe you don't want sex. Maybe some of you are burnt out so you do want sex. Some of you might be burnt out just on sex during this time. Take care of your mental health, Scorpio. And a lot of you might be questioning, yes, picked up on that energy, like sexuality, LGBTQ. You might be more than an ally and really taking some time to pay attention to the uh, signs or cues. We have intimacy showing up over all 13 different types. 53 breaking down to an eight. We had one card pop out. We have a lot of sex talks. 99. There we go. Sended master numbers coming out around you. Sex changes, revisiting rules, conversations, and consent. I feel like that has been the whole read. Someone might also ask you questions like, are you cool with this? Are you cool with that? Or whatever. And you might just be like, Ugh! <laughs> we talked about this 10 times. Fantasies could be really good for you to write down, um, maybe for a partner for them to learn tangibly and just journal about whatever Scorpio. Okay. We also got body care coming in. So make sure that you're doing the things that feel good. Showers, bath, nail care, feeling sexy, feeling happy in your body. Um, and really that's what Emily Nagotsky talks about in the book burnout is it's really when we take that time to take a shower, do our hair, do our nails, do our makeup, wear nice clothes, wear or cut our toenails, shave, not shave, whatever. Those things that we really attune for our bodies, that is self-care. And I think a lot of times people don't realize how important that is for burnout prevention and management. So let's <laughs> close this out with the sex message and a spirit says message. Scorpio, as always, tell me what you got going in the comments below. Please help me and my channel grow and like this video and always tell me what resonates with you and share this with anyone else. Boom. This says, practice your own solo sexual self-care score play. So some of you really need to call this in more before sex and really take this one step at a time. Then out of the spirit says messages deck. Um, and again, Scorpio, if you want your own read to be able to clarify this with me, uh, make sure you look at the comments below here. That one flew on the ground. Maybe you're having sex on the ground. I don't know. Um, but make sure to hit my booking link below as well. So we have earth. Oh my God. Wild. So it falls out, falls out on the ground earth. So some of you need to get grounded right now, get out and connect with nature at this time, earthing elements, whatever this might be. Ground yourself before sex. That might be a really good part of foreplay, meaning like putting your feet on the ground, getting outdoors, <sighs> breathe in and breathe out and let it go and maybe needing to do that over and over and over again especially if there's any types of like performance anxiety or whatever come up with your own foreplay plan okay if you need help reach out to me links below thank you thank you thank you so much for being here scorpio stay tuned for more hit subscribe and stay shameless